Here we are in Paradise Valley. 13,000 square foot house. Um, very, very pretty. Construction clean on this section. So I went ahead and water fed it first. I'm coming back now and I'm going to show you no razor blade. does if you have your little marks like this. Now I water fed it off first to get the majority of the marks off but instead of using a razor blade and they have tint on the inside so that kind of trying to figure out what to use came across the magic eraser and these little windows are filthy but by taking the paint thinner letting it soak for a little bit along with the magic eraser they're coming out really good so I don't have to worry about using a razor blade now sometimes I'll blade it when it's all done and it's clean so that's the advantage of let's say using the um, water fed because you get all the dirt off and this is probably a million dollar addition they got like two million dollars worth of art in here. Anyways, um, now you can blade, but if you blade with with paint thinner, it's real. It's real. What I call um, uh, paint thinner is real greasy, so you don't have to worry about scratching. But I, I'm trying not to blade at all. The idea is to never use a razor blade. And this is regular glass, and by using it on the steel wall, it um, stays wet, and it's almost 100 degrees today. So I think the combination with the um, paint thinner, the um, steel wall, you can use spray away too for. Um, it has no ammonia in it, so it's good for tint. But now I could squeegee it, but with it being full of paint thinner, I just want to get it get it off. Or I can use my regular solution, which right now I'm using. Um, in Cova, uh, glass gleam, and a little bit of um, Dawn. Well, three fourths Dawn. Well, one half Dawn, one half in Cova. A little bit of glass gleams in the spray there. But you can see it's drying real good. And this is my favorite squeegee. This is a 24. And these are kind of cool windows. Just kind of go around, go up to the top, come on down. That's my favorite. I use that 90% of the time. And take this rag and wipe it all clean. Now I've been using the same rag on the whole series of these windows. So, and if you have to blade, you're always better off blading a clean window. Okay. All right, see, I still hear a little bit of paint on there. <coughs> I don't know how good health-wise this paint thinner is. But see, I don't like blading at all. See, as it is, I see kind of like mark there but it's not for me tinted the window so that's a, a dirty mark from the inside when they tinted so 
in these scrapes. See, I didn't blade it, so I, those are inside. Oh, actually, yeah, it's inside, so it's not my fault, it's the other side of the tent. Anyways, the overall view looks good. Then I'll get the other half. So, come with the magic eraser. Kind of, I've done a preliminary work already. It's already drying out a little bit. I got some of these marks that even the towel will pull them off. Try not to use the blade. So you can clean windows without a razor blade. And if you're doing a 13,000 square foot house with tint all over the window, you have to learn better ways of doing things. But anyways, this is Phil. Alexander signing off on probably one of the most beautiful houses I've ever done. There's quite a few more I'd love to get here. One on the hill, that one. The whole Valley of Homes. They call this Paradise Valley. Anyways, maybe I'll find you too. system. I've used this for 40 years. Anyways, remember Phil Alexander